Hey everybody, Dustin Bradley here with Bradley Brothers. Today we are in Gilbert, Arizona. We're gonna take a look at this five bedroom, three and a half bath, two story home. This home sits in a newer community. It's uh, within the community of Morrison Ranch. This house is 3,601 square feet. It's got a two car garage. It was built in 2022, so last year it's brand new, never been lived in by Taylor Morrison. The lot is 7,500 square feet. HOA is about $112 a month. And it's a really pretty house. I like the fact that they did the driveway out of pavers instead of normally you're gonna see concrete. It's got a nice size covered patio out front. It's listed at $870,000. And within the community, there's gonna be some children parks as well as tennis courts. When you walk in, you really notice the nice tall ceilings. They're probably, what are they? Maybe 10 feet, maybe 11 feet. They're very tall ceilings. You got this probably formal living room right here, tile flooring. It's kind of that wood look, gray tile flooring. Lots of natural light coming in. Formal living room then flows over to the dining area right here. And then there's two ways kind of through to the next part of the house. We'll show you this way first. So leading to the kitchen, you have some extra cabinets over here as well as counter space. And then across from that, you have the pantry, nice. Nice size pantry, lots of shelving. It goes very high. And then now we're in the kitchen. You're gonna notice the quartz countertops. They have the waterfall, which means it extends from the top down to the ground on both sides. You do have a GE gas stove for all you chefs out there. And then couple little windows on the backsplash to let in some additional light. GE microwave as well as oven as well. This is gonna be your little table for your breakfast nook over here. And then you have access to the backyard right off the kitchen. I think the cabinets are really pretty. They have crown molding, they're kind of a brownish wood look. Modern and sleek looking, very smooth. Open concept flows right into the family room. Looks like it's already set up to mount your TV on this wall right here. And then you have these big windows that overlook the backyard, just kind of begging for a pool. Coffered ceilings, recessed lighting. On the main level down here, we have one bedroom. It's gonna be a great guest bedroom. Maybe a teen's bedroom, it does have its own bathroom. And then they're using the same countertops and cabinets in the bathrooms as well. Walk-in closet. Another thing I want to point out is the doors are larger uh, than normal. These are eight foot doors. And then architecturally, I think they chose a great design for the doors. Okay, so this was that other way. That's the front door down there. Over here, we have a coat closet. And then we have the guest powder room. Across from that, we have more cabinets and more uh, countertop space. And then this leads to the two car garage. It's a nice oversized two car garage. It's gonna be a little wider than a normal two car garage. Nice tall ceilings, it's been textured and painted. Looks like they left a little bit of extra carpet and uh, tile in case you needed to patch some of the flooring. 
right, let's head upstairs. I like how they have the uh, lights on the, on the way up the staircase. Okay, so we'll start over here. Up here you have feels about like nine foot ceilings, eight foot doors again. Bedroom number one. I like the gray paint color that they chose, the white trim and doors. Here is the next bathroom. So downstairs we had one bedroom. We just went through the first one up here, so that was two. So this is bedroom number three. Bedroom number four. And then we have the laundry room. It's a nice size laundry room with those beautiful cabinets again. And then we have this bonus space right here. You have your primary suite through there. So this space would be a great little game room. And then through here, you have eight foot French doors that lead into, it doesn't have a closet, so it's not a bedroom, but it could easily be turned into another bedroom or even a movie theater room, game room. So really you have two kind of bonus spaces in this house, so five bedrooms plus these two bonus spaces up top. Here is the primary. And I don't know if you can see it from uh, the video, but right across the way, you have the tennis courts. So the community does have tennis courts, which I personally think is pretty cool. And then the primary bathroom, lots of counter space. Plenty of drawers. Really deep. This is a nice size soaking tub that's got tile around it. The tile flows into the shower. Linen closet, and then you have the walk-in closet. Oh, we'll go downstairs, pop in the backyard. If you have any questions, if you want to see this house, or if you just need help buying or selling any property, my brother and I work the whole valley. We're both licensed agents full-time. This is all we do, and we'd love to help you out. So go down to the description. Our contact information is going to be down in the description, and uh, we'll get to work. Okay, so the had a little bit of rain this year, so the rain is bouncing off the dirt and just making the house a little dirty. But uh, you could bring in some gravel, put in a pool, extend the patio. You definitely have a blank canvas back here. Nice size covered patio. All right, well, if you've made it to the end, and you haven't subscribed, think about hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our videos. And if you got value out of today's video, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.